Now your body requires a certain amount of energy, which we would call calories from food, to perform your duties at work or to run a marathon. Therefore, it's always good to have some surplus food in the fridge or in the pantry. NPSHR versus NPSHA. NPSHR is the net positive suction energy required by the pump. NPSHA, the net positive suction head available to the pump. That's what the A means. The NPSHR is listed on your pump curve. The NPSHA is the suction pressure gauge reading. Man, that's a good reason for having a suction gauge on the pumps. Go get your pump performance curve from the pump manufacturer because it shows the NPSHR listed at different flows. So these arcs right here, these lines crossing that curve, that is how much energy the pump must have arriving into the pump. NPSHA is indicated on the pressure gauge at the pump suction nozzle. There's a good reason for having suction pressure gauges on your pumps. Because the suction pressure gauge is telling you how much energy is actually arriving into that pump. Then the pump curve tells you how much energy should arrive into the pump at that duty point. All your operators know this, right? All the operators know this. So this is why you're chasing vibrations. These are the reasons you're chasing vibrations. Because they don't know this. All pumps need gauges. Now this is what just about every pump should look like. A gauge on the suction, a gauge on the discharge, and it's a good idea to have your seal chamber pressure. So if, if your pumps look like that, beautiful. All pumps should have suction and discharge gauges. And this is the world that we live in today.